hi everyone in this tutorial we will continue our development and we have completed our first two steps let's start from step number three and that is exporting our audio chunks so here as you can see we are converting our big audio into audio chunks okay and here we are actually printing our uh, audio chunks objects but instead of uh, printing here the audio chunks object i will export uh, those audio chunks so we need to write here chunk chunk okay and then dot export export okay now this export basically takes a bunch of arguments one is the out f basically represents our output name okay our output file name okay and then we need to define here the format then we you can define the bit rate and there are bunch of properties but we are concerned with these two properties the format and then the output for a file name so first of all uh, we need to give uh, a unique output file name to each chunk in order to distinguish between them so i will actually uh, give the index number as audio chunk name okay so here uh, we will make some modification inside this for loop okay so instead of looping through this audio chunks like this i will loop using enumerate function so enumerate function basically allow us to uh, extract the index of each and every audio chunk so just right here e n u m e r a t enumerate okay and we need to define here c h u n k s chunks okay and now this enumerate function basically returns us two things one is the uh, actual data and the other one is the index so first of all it returns us the index so we will store the index inside this index variable and then we will store the chunk inside this a chunk variable and now here when it comes to a dot export function we need to convert this index to string okay and i will write here str okay and then we need i need to pass here index index okay and then uh, i also need to define here extension of this chunk and in this case uh, uh, my extension will be dot wav because uh, i will use a web format for this so just write here format is equals to uh, wav okay and uh, just keep this thing in mind that whenever you define your format you need to define that extension uh, here as well with this uh, output file name so let's uh, save it okay and uh, just open new terminal okay and uh, write here streamlit -E streamlet or maybe instead of defining this whole name i will use this function just use these arrow keys okay and this will automatically uh, extract the previously typed line okay so uh, streamlet run ido to text or py hit enter and uh, let's wait okay okay so let me close this thing okay so here we have this ido to text converter browse file uh, audio sample open it it's running this means processing open the vs code okay so we don't got any kind of opt output here but here as you can see we have 0 1 and 2 audio files okay so it's cool so let's print here these chunks okay prind print chunk chunk okay not chunk chunk okay let's save it again and let's rerun it browse file okay audio sample open it press running just open vs code okay so here we got three chunks and here we got three chunks as well so this means that everything is perfect everything is working fine okay so you can listen those chunks as well so let me open it in explorer and here are my one two and uh, three chunks okay so just open this one hello this is an audio sample for testing my okay so i hope that uh, you have listened the sentence now let's listen to the second one text to audio converter okay so it's good i have made this application using streamlit and i will test it using this audio sample
so i think it's good and just open this vs code again and now uh, in this step number four we actually need to open these audio chunks which we have exported in the previous step as our sources so instead of uh, printing the chunk again let's remove this line and here i will write uh, i need to import an other library of python which will basically allow us to uh, convert our uh, audio files into text with the help of google and uh, that is uh, speech recognition so if you don't have speech recognition just type in the terminal uh, like this a new terminal and right here pip pip i n s t a double -L, l install s p w -E c speech underscore r e c o g n i t i on speech recognition and this will install speech recognition okay so it didn't found this speech recognition so just go to the official and here you instead of writing speech recognition like this you need to write the speech recognition like this okay so just copy this line and open the terminal paste it here just hit enter and you can see that requirement already satisfied so i have already installed this speech recognition but if you don't have uh, just type this line and this will install your speech recognition so after installing this speech recognition we need to import it so just write here import import spwch speech recognition as i will import it as sr okay so it's cool and now here uh, i will say that uh, w, i will use this with keyword okay so with sr dot a u d i o audio file okay and uh, i need to pass here my file name and uh, uh, my file name will be this uh, index dot web okay so uh, i say i will do the same process here so just copy this line uh, copy it and paste it right here okay and i will open it as a source so just right here uh, ass S O U R C as source. Okay, so we have completed our step number four, and that is opening the audio file as source. Now, in step number five, we actually need to send our this data uh, to the Google. But before we actually send our data, uh, we need to record this source as well. So uh, we need to use an other class of the speech recognition. Okay, and that is recognizer. So just right here, R E c o g recognize okay so i'm just instantiating my class okay so recognize is equals to s r dot uh, r e c o g n i z e r recognizer okay so and put these rounded brackets so we are now successfully instantiating our recognizer and now inside this with section we actually need to record it so it will save my recorded audio file inside this r e c o r d e d recorded variable okay and right here is equals to r e c o g recognize dot uh, r e c o r r d record okay and then we need to pass our source okay and that is the source so just to write here s o u r c source and then after recording it we actually need to send this audio to the google okay so i will say uh, r e c o g recognize dot g w o g l e google recognize okay so here you have two options one is a uh, recognize google cloud and other one is recognize google so when you use this recognize google cloud you need to have an api and obviously if you want that api you need to pay something to the google in order to fetch that api but uh, i will use this uh, recognize google option which is free but here is limitation which is one minute okay so i will use this and uh, i will pass my sorry i will pass my source okay and uh, that is this recorded so just copy it and uh, paste it right here okay and then it will return me the text and uh, i will save my text inside this txt text variable okay but what if google doesn't recognize our audio then in that case we need to use try and accept keywords okay so this is a very handy feature of python which allow us to handle errors okay so first of all i will say try this okay 
okay so try uh, text is equals to recognize google okay and if we get any kind of error exe we accept we will say that uh, we will just need to print a message something like uh, maybe uh, no any none okay so we have not converted our idea and i hope that uh, this will work fine okay so let's save it and uh, again just close this one come to the stream late okay and uh, just close it again and let's refresh it browse files okay and here we just you just need to select this id sample open it and uh, it's running okay it means that it is processing and this will take some time because first of all it will convert our idea into chunks and it will send each chunk one by one to the google and after translation google will send that chunks and obviously it will take time and now let's open vs code okay so we have not got any kind of output and the reason is that we need to print this text here as well so right here print okay and then txt text okay so let's save it again and uh, just uh, browse file idea sample open it okay so open this vs code again and yeah this is our out output okay so uh, hello this is an idea sample for testing my text to idea converter <laughs> okay so google has successfully translated our these two idea files and now i have made this application using stream late okay so here google has made a mistake and that is stream with okay so it's not stream with it's stream lit and i will test it using this okay so here i said idea sample and we got this error so but this is how you can actually convert your idea into text using only few lines okay and uh, i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and i think it's enough for this tutorial so in the next tutorial we will actually print our this result on our streamlet and i will see you in that tutorial till that point bye bye